Hello Aries, this is you versus them for the 7th through the 13th. <clears throat> Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general, you guys, so it will not resonate for everyone, okay? Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on. For you guys. Alright. Hmm. I think a lot of you are focused on yourselves right now. Okay. Um, it's like you you want to you want to like take an offer from someone. Somebody is actually extending an offer to you. And I don't think that you're not taking it. You're just a little cautious around it because I feel like a, a lot of you are really just focused on yourself and the things that that you are interested in. Okay. That's what that is. It's not like you're not interested in them, but you just are more interested in yourself. Okay. I feel like um, they were a little unsure about how you felt about them in the past and um, I think they're they're still a little unsure but they are wanting to continue to work with you though it's like they're they're wanting to be patient with you okay yeah they're wanting to be patient with you um, I feel like this person thinks that this could really um, work between you two okay they they want to offer you they want to offer you something um, substantial here something significant and I don't know if you guys really realize that but um, you know they, they want to spend time with you they really and truly see something um, significant with you all right and I feel like their time is um, they feel like that's what's important right now too. Um, I think that this individual, you know, for me, when the magician appears with another card, it kind of highlights that card for me in most in instances, okay? So this person is really, um, I feel like they're going to do everything that they need to do to prove to you that they really are worthy of you spending your time with them and investing, I feel. Okay, let's see what you want to do. Hmm. I think a lot of you are just really trying to stay focused on on whatever it is that you are that has your attention right now and your attention is focused on something else other than connecting with this individual over here I feel like a lot of you have just really started um, also a new business there's something that you are devoting a lot of your time to that you are wanting to see a payout for and so it's like you are you are dedicating a lot of yourself to that venture and this is the thing though I feel like there is a need for you guys to not take um, for granted whoever this individual is on this side okay and this is like um, this is like Virgo energy over here I feel but you know I think there's a need for you to give a little more of your time there's something you're so focused on here that um, that there is really a thin line between being like overworking and like you know really focused on what it is that you are striving to do and neglecting um, this partnership there's like a thin line right there so I think that you know it's necessary to kind of you know reevaluate 
you know, what time you actually do have for this and then what time you are going to dedicate um, towards this connection, okay? Because I feel like this, this is involving somebody that is currently, um, you know, seeing someone here for a lot of you, okay? Let's see what the other person wants. I feel like they are following their heart. And where their heart is leading them is to Aries. Because this is Aries card right here. The three of wands. And I feel like they are unsure if you feel the same way about them here. And I get the I get the distinct feeling that they want you to take notice of them. It's what I'm getting. They're not sure how you feel. It's like you're very mysterious to them. Very mysterious to them at this point. They're waiting on you to figure out too if you know this is really what you want and I and I get that they want you to show them because they honestly do not know how you feel here okay let's see what it is you guys need hmm I feel like you Aries you know during this time frame, I, I feel like you guys have had to really tone down your emotions um, due to things that have happened in the past. And um, so you began to think more or to function more from an intellectual standpoint where everything is concerned across the board. And um, you are you're trying to protect yourself from being hurt I feel and <clears throat> what this is saying to me because the seven of swords is like this is a self-serving energy and this is somebody that is functioning um, their their intellect their thought processes is what is guiding them they do not allow for their heart to guide them um, and a lot of people function like that. If you have never been that type of person, this is coming, this is stemming from being hurt before because you have overextended yourself emotionally. And so what the need is, is for you, you to do what's best for you. But there's also a need for you to kind of shift that a little bit because whatever happened to you um, in the past... I feel like this is saying, you know, you've completed that cycle. You're no longer willing to accept people that have this energy as well. So do not be afraid to allow somebody else in that has genuine feelings, that has genuine intentions, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Because you have learned, you have learned how to identify um, the behavior. Oh my gosh, I need some water. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you have learned to identify um, the behavior from people. Because I don't think you are deceiving anyone or lying to anyone. <clears throat> but on the flip side, this is somebody that... <clears throat> strictly looks out for themselves and this can be a liar a cheater a deceiver um knowing that you're doing somebody wrong yet you still do it and i feel like this is the energy that you have experienced in the past but this is saying that is behind you <clears throat> you will know you will know um intuitively <clears throat> whether or not someone um is you know does not mean you any good you will know but also do not close yourself off to other connections where there is a genuine connection there nobody's trying to get away get away with anything okay <clears throat> you are successful in 
<clears throat> and avoiding this energy. Okay, so don't feel like you cannot involve your emotions when other people are concerned. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what they need. My gosh, hmm. I feel like they need confidence here, honestly and truly. I feel like they need to work on themselves because. <clears throat> I think the fact that you're not showing them the attention that they are seeking um, and that may involve like fawning all over them, I feel like they're feeling like um, <clears throat> they're feeling almost, you know, like they're not good enough or that you don't really like them or care for them or what have you. But I feel like this is more of them needing to work on themselves and their confidence here. <clears throat> because I get the feeling that you do you do like this person it's just that you know there's something else here that has got your focus is what I'm feeling okay <clears throat> let's see what the <clears throat> is someone else involved for you guys <clears throat> hmm I get the feeling that there was a situation <clears throat> involving this Seven of Swords where somebody actually ghosted you. Okay? And not only did they ghost you, but this person knew very well how this was going to make you feel so it was intentional okay but this is also you taking your hands off of that and saying you know what there's nothing I can do about that there's nothing I can do about that the only thing I can do is go forward and um, <clears throat> And just be happy. Um, you know, even if this person you felt like was was fated for you or, you know, this was your person, your soulmate. At this point, you're just wanting to be happy. I feel like you are letting go of that, this Seven of Swords energy, that person. Okay. I also get that this same person... This very same person is wanting to make an appearance in your life. Okay. And I don't feel like this person is this person on this side over here. No, I don't feel like that at all. I don't feel like that. I feel like this is somebody new over here. Okay. Hmm. Then again, huh? Then again, could quite possibly be because somebody's taking a good long look at themselves and they're also rethinking this connection here. So either this is the same person that ghosted you or this is another ex, I feel. Somebody that wants to love you. This is somebody that, that has very, very deep feelings for you. Scorpio energy. Could very well be a Scorpio here. The energy that I see present. I'm just going to tell you guys. Some people don't like to hear it, but I'm going to say it anyway. I see Gemini. I see Capricorn energy here. I see Scorpio. Pisces, Pisces is strong, Aquarius, 
um, Taurus, I see Virgo. Those are the energies I see present. Does not have to be those particular signs, but that's the energy that I see present here, okay? Somebody is really um, wanting to, to share their love with you. They have very strong, deep feelings for you. And whoever this is, is not sure whether you will reciprocate if you still have feelings for them. Um, they're hoping, they're hoping and praying that you do. But they're not confident that they can win you over. Okay. Let's see if it's likely that you guys will get back together here. Keeping them up at night, I tell you that. This is somebody that did you wrong here. This is somebody that thinks about you all the time. When they're at work, when they're trying to watch TV. This is somebody that cannot get you off of their mind. Okay? And I feel like... Um, Maybe the last time that you guys, because you are fire, of course, but you know there there may have been this explosion between the two of you, so they see you as very fiery, okay? But also at the same time, they see you as very loving. This is very Aries, very Aries, but also fire and water to me is is Scorpio energy as well. So you know a lot of you Aries may have Scorpio in your chart, even your North Node or something like that. But they are so focused on you that they can hardly function. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull. Um, uh, romance angel card for you guys to close out your reading my Aries Ooh. Ah, look at this express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture okay so you know that really makes me feel like that there are possibly two individuals here okay I feel um, either Virgo, Gemini, because we had the mercurial energy here. And then I feel like a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay. Strongly for a lot of you. But when, when that card came out, make the romantic gesture. I feel like this is more so this individual that is, that is feeling like, you know, they're not sure if you really like them. Whoever this is. Only you guys know your own particular circumstances. But whoever this is, if you care for somebody or if you're interested in somebody, um, now is a time to basically show them, okay? Show them. Some, some form or fashion, like, you know, make some time. Try to make some time anyway, okay, guys? Um, and that is my advice for you, my lovely Aries. So I will be speaking with you guys soon. And um, bye now. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs>